Welcome to History Uncovered, where we delve into the stories and events that have shaped our world. If you're a fan of history and love learning about the people and events that have shaped our world, then be sure to hit that subscribe button below. We release new videos every day so you'll always have something new to discover. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when our latest episodes are released, and you'll be supporting us in our mission to bring fascinating stories from the past to a wider audience. If you have ideas of what we should make a video about next, let us know in the comment section. In this episode, we are going to explore the life and legacy of Shaka Zulu, one of Africa's most influential and powerful leaders. Shaka was the founder of the Zulu Kingdom in southern Africa and played a crucial role in shaping the region's history during the early 19th century. Shaka was born around 1787 in what is now modern-day South Africa. He was the illegitimate son of Senzanga Kona, chief of the Zulu clan, and Nandi, a daughter of the neighboring Langini tribe. Shaka's early life was filled with hardship and rejection due to his illegitimate status, but he would eventually rise to power and lead his people to greatness. As a young boy, Shaka faced ridicule and exclusion from his father's tribe, the Zulus. Despite these challenges, he grew up to become a skilled warrior and began to make a name for himself in his teens. He gained the attention of Dingusweo, a powerful local chief, who took Shaka under his wing and provided him with the military training that would shape his destiny. In 1816, following his father's death, Shaka became the chief of the Zulus. He quickly set about reforming the military, introducing innovative tactics, and creating a highly disciplined and fearsome fighting force. One of Shaka's most significant innovations was replacing the traditional long-throwing spear with a short-stabbing spear called the Ikoa, which was more effective in close combat. Additionally, he trained his warriors to use their shields as offensive weapons, allowing them to disarm their opponents and gain the upper hand in battle. Shaka's military genius extended beyond weapon innovations. He implemented a highly effective fighting formation called the Buffalo Horns, which involved his warriors attacking the enemy in a pincer movement. The center of the formation, known as the chest, would engage the enemy head-on, while the horns on either side would outflank and encircle the enemy, effectively trapping them. This tactic proved incredibly successful and allowed Shaka's forces to crush their opponents with devastating efficiency. As Shaka's power and influence grew, so did the size of the Zulu kingdom. He embarked on a series of conquests, subjugating neighboring tribes and absorbing them into his growing empire. By the mid-1820s, Shaka had established the Zulu kingdom as one of the most powerful and expansive in southern Africa. However, Shaka's reign was not without its controversies. His brutal military tactics and expansionist policies led to the displacement and suffering of countless people, resulting in what is now known as the Mfikane or the Crushing. This period saw widespread chaos, famine, and warfare as tribes were forced to flee their lands and compete for scarce resources. The Mfikane would ultimately reshape the political and demographic landscape of southern Africa, paving the way for European colonization in the decades that followed. While Shaka's military prowess and ruthlessness earned him many enemies, his rule also brought about significant social and political reforms within the Zulu kingdom. He centralized power and established a highly efficient and organized system of governance, which included a council of elders called the Indunas who advised him on matters of state. Shaka also fostered a sense of unity and pride among his people, who shared a common language, culture, and identity. Despite his accomplishments, Shaka's reign was marked by internal strife and intrigue. His half-brother, Dingane, saw an opportunity to seize power and orchestrated a plot to assassinate Shaka. In September 1828, Shaka was killed by his half-brothers Dingane and Mlangana, who subsequently took control of the Zulu kingdom. Following Shaka's death, the Zulu kingdom underwent a period of instability and turmoil. Dingane's rule was marked by despotism and paranoia, and he ultimately met a violent end at the hands of his own people. In the years that followed, the Zulu kingdom experienced a series of power struggles, with various factions vying for control. Despite these challenges, the legacy of Shaka Zulu and his innovative military tactics lived on, as the Zulu people continued to be a formidable force in the region. 
the impact of Shaka Zulu's life and reign on the history of Southern Africa cannot be understated. His conquests and military innovations not only changed the course of Zulu history, but also significantly influenced the broader landscape of the region. The social and political changes he implemented within the Zulu kingdom helped to create a strong and unified nation, which would later play a crucial role in resisting European colonization and maintaining their sovereignty. Shaka's story is not without its contradictions, as his genius and ambition were often marred by his ruthlessness and brutality. However, his life serves as a testament to the power of resilience and determination in the face of adversity. He remains a complex and fascinating figure in African history, whose influence can still be felt to this day. In modern South Africa, Shaka Zulu's legacy is remembered and celebrated in various ways. His life and achievements are commemorated with monuments, museums, and cultural events, which serve to honor his memory and educate future generations about his impact on the region's history. The annual Shaka Day, celebrated on the 24th of September, is a public holiday in the KwaZulu-Natal province, where people gather to pay homage to this legendary leader and reflect on the rich cultural heritage of the Zulu people. As we conclude this exploration of Shaka Zulu's life and legacy, we are reminded of the indelible mark he left on the history of Southern Africa. His innovative military tactics, social reforms, and tenacious spirit continue to serve as an inspiration to those who strive for greatness in the face of adversity. By examining the complexities of Shaka's story, we gain a deeper understanding of the forces that shaped the region's history and the enduring legacy of one of Africa's most influential and powerful leaders. Thank you for watching this episode of History Uncovered. If you found this video informative and engaging, please like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories from the past. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so that you never miss a new video.